and welcome to another video. So in this video, we will be finding the equation of a straight line given two points. So if you look at this question, you're given two points, negative one, four, and two, negative five, and we're supposed to write the equation of the line and leave the answer in slope intercept form. So you wonder, is there an alternative way to leave your answer? Yeah, the other form is the standard form, okay? Or you can leave it in the slope point form, okay? Now, those are all kinds of confusing expressions, but all you want to do is find the equation of the line. And remember that the first thing to look for anytime you have to deal with a straight line and the equation of that line is the slope of the line. If you're not given, find it first. If you're given, just use it. So remember, the slope is the first thing. So we're going to start with one of the two methods. So I'm going to write the two options we have on the board. Um, the first one is called the slope intercept form, okay? Um, which is the form we're supposed to leave our answer. Another option you have is called the slope point form, okay? So we're going to do this first and then we'll go back and I'll tell you the difference between these two. So let's talk about the slope intercept form. Just as you see the name, the first thing to look for when you're given two points about a line is what is the slope of the line. And we know that the slope of a line, slope m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so in this case, what we have will be, you just choose whichever is your y2 or y1. I always make the one on the right my y2, the one on the left my, my um, y1, and the same thing x2, x1. So this would be my y2. So it's going to be negative 5 minus 4 divided by 2 minus negative 1. Okay, so the way this is, my n is going to be negative 9 over 2 plus 1, that's 3. So my slope is negative 3. Okay, and am I correct? You know, another way to check whether your slope computation is correct is to plot this in your mind or make a small graph. See, what I would do is make a small graph here. This point, negative 1, 4, is negative 1, 4. I can put it here somewhere here, and this point 2, negative 5 will be here, somewhere here. So this line slopes this way, so your line should be a negative sloping line. You can see it leans to the left, so I can suspect that this is correct. At least I got a negative graph, okay? At least that's half of the worries gone, because I'm not sure if it's 3 or not, but at least I know it's going to be a negative graph. So now that you've gotten that out of the way, you know that, okay, my slope is correct. What you want to do is write the option for slope intercept form. The equation of a line is equal to y equals mx plus b. Okay? Now, it's easy. We can get something to plug in for y. You just pick one of these, either negative 5 or 4. There's something to plug in for x. You can pick either negative 1 or 2. What do we plug in for m? Well, we already know m to be negative 3. So we have three of these components. The only thing we don't have is b, and we can find what b is by using one of these points. I'm going to use this point. So if we use this point, y is negative 5 is equal to m is negative 3 multiplied by x. x is 2 plus b. So we end up with negative 5 is equal to uh, negative 6 plus b. If you move this here, you end up with b is equal to 1. See, the only thing you need to find if you use the slope intercept form after you get the slope is to just know what b is by substituting x and y from one of these points. Just pick a point and be consistent. So don't pick x from here and then y from here just because you like the numbers. Okay, you have to stick to the same um, co uh, the uh, coordinate pair that you're given. So if you're given 2, negative 5, you use 2 and negative 5 for x and for y. So that's what we did, and b equals negative 1. Now we have our equation already. Remember, this is the equation that we're looking for. Okay, the two things that are constant in any straight line are the slope 
and they intersect. So we just write y equals negative 3x plus, what is b, plus 1. Okay, so our equation y equals negative 3x plus 1. That's the equation of the straight line that passes through these two points if you use the slope intercept form. Okay, the second way is to use what you call the slope point form. That way you don't need to go looking for b. We're not looking for the intercept. What are we looking for? Nothing, just the slope. Okay, see how beautiful that is? So we're gonna say slope m equals, we're gonna do this all the way from the beginning, the slope m is going to be just the same thing that we've done, um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? And that gives you, based on what we've done before, it will be, uh, so just for the sake of clarity, I'm going to make this now my, my, um, my y2 and make y2, y1, so I'll switch the position, so it's going to be 4 minus negative 5, then my x2 will now be negative 1 minus 3, minus 2, okay? So this is going to end up being 4 plus, that's going to be 4 plus 5 over, sorry, negative 1 and negative 3. So this gives me 9 over negative 3, which is negative 3. So this just shows you that it does not matter which one you pick as your one or your point two, as long as you're consistent, you'll always be correct. So now we have that. What is the formula for the slope uh, point form? It simply says y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. That's it. You can see that this is a cross multiplication of this formula. We, instead of writing y, x2 and y2, we just decided to remove the two subscripts and just leave it that way. And that's how we get this formula. So it's nothing strange. It's from this, this, the equation of a slope. Okay, so now let's write our equation. It's gonna be y minus, now what is y1? Remember, you can pick either of these two as one or two. And if you remember when I did the slope, I decided to say that this is gonna be my one and this was my two and that's why I did that subtraction. So I'm gonna use these two numbers now. So I'm gonna say y minus, what is y1? Negative five equals slope, negative three into x minus, what will this be? x1 is two. Okay, and this tells me y plus five is equal to negative three x, and this is plus six. So what do we do next? Move this five to the other side. So y equals negative 3x plus 6 minus 5. It tells me that y equals negative 3x plus 1. So as you can see, we obtained the same exact answer whether we go this way or we go this way. Which way is faster? Which way is easier for you? Uh, I know many people prefer this method of finding b first by substituting a value. Some people just like going straight with the values. Whichever way you choose, make sure you understand. This is the slope intercept form. You find the intercept first, and once you're done, you have your answer. Or you don't bother finding the intercept. You just use this formula, which is just an extension or a modification of this one, and you will be fine. Don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.